Hello everyone, my name is Fernanda Saldívar and I'm presenting the work in Tarurkim Informatic Based Enumeration of Chemical Labor. This work was done in the School of Chemistry at UNAM in Mexico. Our lab is interested in computer-aided draw design using different methods. As part of the introduction, it's important to mention that virtual chemical library design is an approach that is used in virtual screening campaigns to increase the probability of finding new lead compounds in drug design. Using this approach, the size, structural complexity, and diversity of the compounds to be obtained can be controlled. Structurally attractive compounds can also be explored, and it can be useful for finding compounds for emerging and difficult to address molecular targets. In some cases, depending on the approach to be used, the libraries can also be focused on synthetically feasible compounds. Within the process for the design of virtual chemical libraries, the design based on synthesis schemes and available reagents has demonstrated the importance of the knowledge of intelligent reactions in the field of chemical species exploration. In order to contribute to the critical tasks of teaching and learning chemioinformatics, we elaborated a tutorial in which we explore various methodologies proposed by synthetic organic chemists and exemplify how to access an affordable chemical space using open access chemioinformatic tools. For this tutorial, we discussed three examples of library design a diversity oriented synthesis library based on lactams, a bis heterocyclic combinatorial library, and a set of target oriented molecules based on isoindolinons. The design of virtual chemical libraries based on synthesis schemes has steps in common that were identified as follows Build or identify a library of commercially available binding blocks. Identify the characteristics of building blocks for the strategy to be followed. Establish the coupled reaction in a smear format. And they use an open access chemioinformatic tools for the automation of the synthesis approach. For this work, we use NIME, Python, and Data Warrior to build examples. The importance of characterizing the generated compounds in terms of molecular and structural diversity to ensure quality, novelty, and synthetic feasibility of the designing compounds is also highlighted. Here we show the chemical space of the generated libraries in terms of physiochemical properties and in diversity and forms. Finally, to reduce the number of compounds to be used in virtual screening, the use of free servers to, to filter on desirable compounds and assist heat selection before chemical synthesis is exemplified. As conclusion, we can say that virtual chemical libraries represent an important source of novel restructure in drug discovery application. This work shows how through different computational open access methods, it is possible to automate design approaches, enumerate and explore all the compounds obtained using pre-validated reactions and commercially or in-house available building blocks. We are confident that this work will contribute to more academic groups to continue capturing and exploiting the knowledge deriving from organic synthesis and motivate the correct use of chemioinformatic tools to design new chemical structures. Thanks for listening and we also appreciate the funding we receive for this work. If you want to learn more, you can consult the manuscript with the following QR. Thanks.